One, two, three, test. <coughs> One, two, three, test. Uh, so just to see where we are. You're in a comfortable range. Are you comfortable with it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. You're fine. Okay, good. So, this will be broadcast in full HD and 3D format so that people can watch it in 3D and other languages as well. So I'll do, I will just do a, a, a short one minute uh, test and then uh, on, on my part and then and then, the, and then the second take, after I've done the one minute test, uh, the second take will be uh, between you and me. I will, okay. I will introduce you first, you look at the camera mm. and after I've done my short introduction of you, I will turn to you and then we'll just stop. That's it. And then, and then we will start and end that way. So, um, Mr. Raya Lengarajan Narayan Mohan. Or Narayan Mohan. Narayan Mohan. Oh, na Narayan Mohan. Narayan Mohan. Okay. So this is the part I got it correct. Sorry. I want to write in Chinese. Sir. Huh? No, I, I, have, I got to have my pen. So I never carry a Mont Blanc. Mm. I also don't. Say again? I also don't carry Mont Blanc. Because I'm very ordinary. Because I keep on losing it. Even <laughs> my iPad and your telephone, <laughs> I place it in so many places. And no <laughs> so how do I pronounce this? Nara? Nara Yana Mohan. Nara Rana Mohan. Mohan. Yeah. Nara Yana Mohan. Correct. Okay. You got it. So can I address you <coughs> Mr. Nara? Mohan. You call me Mohan, it's easy. Okay, Mohan. But for for start for formality sake, I'll just address you as Mr. R. Narayana Mohan. Mohan. Narayana Mohan. Yes, yes, sir. Mr. R. Nar Nara Narayana Nara Mohan. Narayana Mohan. Narayana Mohan. Narayana Mohan. Narayana Mohan. And after that, you go on to Mohan. This is it. Okay. Okay. I will do that. Okay, Mr. Nara Narayana Mohan. Mr. R. Nara ya. Narayana Mohan. Yes, Narayana right. Mohan. That's right. Narayana Mohan. Yeah. Narayana Mohan. Narayana yeah. Mohan. Yes, okay. Yes. Hi, welcome to the National Quiz Choice Online News Test. Type of review. And, and to, sorry, this is a, this is a test. This is an exercise. Hi, welcome to the National Quiz Choice. Well, uh, welcome to the National Quiz Choice. This type of review. Hi, welcome to the National Quiz Choice. This type of review. I'm Robin Steinberg. One, two, three. Mr. Narayana Mohan. Mr. Ra Na Mr. R. Narayana Mohan. Mr. R. Nar Narayana Mohan, Mr. R. Narayana Mohan. Is yes, that yes, okay. Yes, okay. okay. Are you ready? One, two, and three. Hi, welcome to the National Quiz Choice Online News, and it's time for the Steinberg Review. I'm Robin Steinberg, and welcome to my show. And today we have a special guest who is the President and Chairman uh, of Singapore Indian Chamber of Commerce and in Industry, none other than Mr. R. Narayana Mohan, who's here with me. And he's going to discuss uh, about the prospects of business for the Indian community and the Indian diaspora here in Southeast Asia and Singapore. Uh, Mr. Mohan, thank you for joining me uh, the National Quiz Choice. Good morning, and thank you. Yes, at this time of review, uh, viewers would like to find out more about what is going on and the outlook for Indian companies and businesses uh, from India and Singapore in the coming year for 2013 and beyond, and how uh, the, the Indian diaspora and businesses, you know, uh, can see themselves how they could contribute to this economy. See, in fact, uh, the number of Indian companies which are coming from India is ever increasing on an average of 100 over companies per month. Uh, as of today, the tally will be uh, nearly 5,000 Indian companies are established in Singapore. In fact, the chamber is coming out of the director of Indian companies in Singapore. With 2,500 companies, we have gathered, and we are going to have a um, re going to have a, a book release of that uh, the Indian companies in Singapore shortly. Uh, coming back to the Indian companies, why they are coming to Singapore is that uh, it's easy for them to carry out not only the infrastructure of Singapore, the the reputation, brand name, user-friendly government um, policies and procedures. Uh, ease of doing business in Singapore is convenient for them to establish their operations in Singapore. And they use Singapore as a base to go internationally, to do international trading, providing international services and making investments throughout the world. Through a subsidiary, they always set up a wholly owned subsidiary of an Indian company 
and then the Singapore company in turn make the investments in other parts of the world. If they are doing international trading, Singapore company is involved in the international trading. If they would like to do an investment, the Singapore company will make again uh, an investment to the overseas. So ultimately, the investment is consolidated with the Singapore company and in back, it's consolidated back in India. Coming back to business, doing the year 2013, <coughs> I foresee uh, there is going to be, uh, but the business today is slowing down because Indian rupee is uh, uh, losing its value. But due to the changes now in the government, present government in, in India, the, the, there is a lot of hope. The changes, what they are predicting is there is a lot of hope. Uh, it's stabilizing now, rupee is stabilizing. Uh, vis a vis the business between Singapore and India is uh, is now, which was slowing down, is, is now recovering. Uh, in future, 2013, I foresee that the, the policy will be more stable and clear in India, which will make more Indian companies to do business uh, with India and uh, will be certainly doing better because the greatest economies of the world, both India and China, uh, it's easy for them to do business via Singapore. Now, what is the the identity uh, of the, you know, the Singapore uh, Indian uh, Chamber of Commerce and Industry? Because it's been established over 88 years already right now. Yes, correct. Yes, correct. Yes, correct. You, have come, you have come a very long way. Um, what sort of criteria uh, which your chamber uh, is able to identify the problems and issues in the marketplace and how did the community was able to embrace the economic changes so quickly? Because if your your chamber itself was able to educate and arrest the economic issues. Uh, how do you do that? See, the, the chamber has got the board, which has got 18 member board. All of them are reputable uh, businessmen of Indian, Indian origin. So they are guiding the rest of the members, the way in which they should carry on the business in Singapore. We have a lot of networking sections within the members. We have a lot of programs for the members. Also, we have distinguished speakers coming and speaking about uh, the recent topics and also the, the, the business climate in the world. So it enables them to understand what globally uh, they should do so that they can uh, face the competition, face the changes which is happening in the world to enable them to do a better business. Um, what are uh, benefits that the all chamber you know, was is able to assist the members? You know, other than you know, networking sessions, or were there were there other uh, consulting uh, advisory boards? Do a mentorship uh, program? Uh, on yes, we do have. We, we have got the enterprise development center through the enterprise development center mm -hmm. <coughs> with the support of the Spring uh, Government uh, Initiative, whereby we guide. Um, more than, till today, more than 8,000 SMEs in Singapore, or uh, companies in Singapore, uh, various government grants, facilities, and also the uh, uh, enabling them to do business overseas, what are the difficulties they face, how they can, how they can be assisted by the Chamber and by the EDC. So a uh, lot of people have been benefited, and more and more people are coming to us to, to take our uh, assistance to see that they perform better in their business. Mm -hmm. Now, there's another question uh, brought in from our readers, and that is, uh, how does SCCI distinguish themselves from other chambers, like you know, uh, in Singapore? What what would be the, the main <coughs> difference? See, all the chambers do the same role. Uh, there is no difference between uh, Singapore Indian Chamber of Commerce or any other chamber, for that matter. Each one has got their own objectives. Uh, catering to the needs and the peculiar needs and the requirements of their community and they are doing well extremely in Singapore. And on our part, we look into um, the Indian companies in Singapore and also the Indian diaspora. Uh, that's the reason why what we have done is more than 30,000 professionals are working in Singapore. We started a professional subcommittee. The objective of the professional subcommittee is to interact between the Indian professionals who are working in Singapore whereby we started a distinguished speakers series whereby we bring in the eminent speakers uh, from Singapore and overseas uh, whereby they can understand and get to know what are the professional changes which are happening, what's the uh, business uh, climate globally and how the experiences of all these distinguished speakers have come across in their life. So the practical examples and uh, life experience have been shared by them, enable them to 
uh, engage themselves better in their workplace. So the intention of creating that professional subcommittee and interacting with the uh, Indian professionals is, is to facilitate the Indian professionals who are in Singapore and to have a win-win situation. We are not doing it for the sake of making them to become part and parcel of the chamber, to become a member of the chamber. But we would like to contribute to the that particular segment of the professionals who are working in Singapore. Now, how important is the diaspora uh, for you and the commu Indian community here in Singapore? What See, the government is very keen on integration. Mm -hmm. Whoever comes to Singapore, uh, they are all migrant population. They have to become part and parcel of Singapore because the integration is very important to the government and to the to all of us. So we do our part to see that integration take place in the chamber, healthily and uh, doing it well. In Singapore, an Indian Chamber of Commerce doing it well, very well in that sphere. Now, what lessons can a businessman and also an investor from uh, from overseas, uh, Indians and, and as well as non-Indians, uh, they can learn from you and how they can learn uh, to overcome the challenges in doing business? Uh, in this climate. Uh, you as a distinguished president as well as a businessman, you have done this for over more than 30 years, I, I take it. So what what kind of uh, key advice would you give? Would you give? Yeah, okay, I just want to tell you, I'm a, I'm a practicing accountant, I'm a business advisor. Uh, I have done, uh, I have talked to all the business uh, people who are 30 odd years, as you rightly said. So my role is of an advisory role. So I can understand the, the businessmen, the business acumen they have. So my role is to assist them. When I moved into the chamber, I continue to do the same job. Um, especially uh, as far as all the uh, Indian diaspora is concerned, we are contributing to both. We don't differentiate between uh, a Singaporean uh, Indian businessman or an Indian Indian businessman. Uh, we treat them together. We, we, we take part in uh, promoting um, the business, not only the Indian community, we, we also have joined our network, networking with other chamber of commerce so that the Indian community can also do business with Malay and Chinese communities in Singapore. So we also initiated a joint uh, networking. I've initiated uh, that. I started with the calling the other chamber of commerce to join with our chamber of commerce members so that they have a win-win situation. And it's happening healthily and uh, last uh, month Malay Chamber of Commerce invited us to be part of that and be celebrated. All of them joined together, have a fantastic networking, and then we have a good dinner. Very nice. Now, uh, Mr. President, you know, um, Mr. Mohan, you know, what's what is your take uh, on the economic outlook? Uh, should uh, the the economic crisis uh, were to be severe, is there uh, any uh, any form of uh, uh, policy in place by the government here in Singapore as well as the chamber where you would come in and assist the members to arrest the issue should it become severe? Luckily the, <clears throat> the European economy is recovering, American economy is recovering. Um, good thing is uh, Singapore is doing well with ASEAN countries. The rest of the nine countries uh, they are all doing well. Uh, especially Indonesia is growing at 6.5%. Uh, you look at Vietnam doing well, uh, Myanmar is opening up the doors, which makes us to be not to worry much. India and China is, China is just slowing down. Uh, Indian rupee is um, compared to the other current currencies is, is losing its value, but gaining its momentum now due to the changes in policy. Certainly, um, Singapore is in a better place or the businessmen in Singapore are in a better place to carry on and survive and overcome all these setbacks. What's next uh, for your chamber, uh, especially the Singapore Indian Chamber of Commerce and Industry? Are you all going to be producing uh, more uh, material, uh, especially even biographies of businessmen uh, who have established a business here in Singapore and beyond? Is there any plans for that? Uh, actually, they have plans. Um, we did release a book about entrepreneurs, Indian entrepreneurs in Singapore. We are now thinking of uh, redoing one more book about uh, the new entrepreneurs we have come across because the ninth year we celebrated yesterday uh, of uh, promoting the entrepreneurship in Singapore among the Indians. So we have nearly now uh, handed over entrepreneurs. We have we have awarded them. Uh, we have we have final uh, also shortlisted them as finalists. There is a handful of 300 over entrepreneurs we have in hand. We have plans to come out with a directory 
of these uh, birding entrepreneurs in Singapore. Now, these business awards uh, that has been hosted uh, by your chamber, uh, were, were they, was it an important milestone uh, for you and for the business at large here in Singapore? Many have asked that, uh, why do you need to have uh, a bus business award? Is there really a need to recognize the contributions? See, <clears throat> the business awards is very important. The reason is that um, the nine of them were the finalists in the yesterday night out of the 50 hour applications we received. The nine of them is not known to most of the entrepreneurs in Singapore. Even I am not aware about some of them who have come and submitted their application and the progress they have made in entrepreneurship. One, two is that um, it's a recognition of the talent, the entrepreneurship skill they have because the testing criteria is not only how far you have done your business, it goes beyond. If you ask me, the, the finalists have been selected based on what they are, the entrepreneurship skill in Singapore and also what is their uh, operations in other parts of the world, what is the contribution to the community and whether they are acting as corporate citizens. All these things are looking to before uh, what's the future plans of uh, their entrepreneurship, what's the goals and aims uh, for developing the business in future. All these things are taken into account before a person is, is being finalized as a finalist. So it's not, it's a tedious process. Uh, it brings out the, the, the entrepreneurs who are hidden in various parts of Singapore. So it makes them, we give them the opportunity to be uh, made known to the rest of the entrepreneurs. Banks are keen to come and happen to discuss with them. So banks are very happy to give them uh, more advances and facilities because it is also new to them to meet the new entrepreneurs who are coming up and then who have been made known to the, the general public. Amazing. I am quite pleased to hear the, the initiatives that your chamber has uh, progressed and made available uh, thank you. Yep, both, thank you. The, both in Singapore and also even for the Indian uh, companies. Like yesterday, we saw that Tata Group was acknowledged uh, and the chairman uh, was very pleased uh, to, be, to be seen and heard uh, uh, to the business community at large. Um, so, uh, so what's next for you as, as, the, as the president of the chamber? Uh, is there any uh, new ideas that you would like to express uh, to your new members and members at large? <coughs> See, the, as I was telling you, the number of Indian companies coming to Singapore is ever increasing. Uh, my objective is to see that, how do you bring them into the fold of the chamber, how to, how to, how to make them part and parcel of the chamber, that's one uh, objective I've got in mind. Second is that, are you, uh, uh, are you um, providing the service expected of a member the expectations of a member has been fulfilled. That's what I always look into. And secondly, are you uh, providing the advocacy role is to see that, that what is uh, expected of, of passing on the government policies to them or their uh, business problems back to the government? Are you doing your role? And then also do the rest of the expectations of the members have been fulfilled. This is what my objectives are. And then I would like to carry on uh, with closely working with all the members of the chamber. Mr. Mohan, thank you for joining us uh, here at the National Quiz Choice this time group review and sharing with us uh, more about the Singapore Indian Chamber of Commerce and Industry that is uh, able to provide the members and the members beyond uh, this board uh, you know, for a better future. Thank you. Uh, thank and, you. And once again, thank you for joining me here at the National Quiz Choice the time group review. I'm Robin Steinberg. Have a good week ahead. And don't forget to look up at the website at the, at the Singapore Indian Chamber of Commerce and Industry to find out more information about what the benefits and events that's happening here in Singapore. And without ado, thank you for joining me once again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Which channel you will come? It will be on, firstly, you'll be on YouTube and you'll be on our website as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's